Let's have a look at the main components of the swing motor and the principle of the hydraulic oil circuit. This is a time delay valve. The function of the valve block is to release the brake and make the oil pressure released slowly. There are two oil inlets that PG port and the SH port on the valve block. Delay valve core, brake release valve core, and their corresponding springs. When the excavator pilot joystick is in the swing position, the pilot oil enters the main valve to push the swing valve rod to move, and the pressure oil enters the oil inlet of the oil distribution plate of the swing motor from the main valve through the end cover. At the same time, the pilot oil enters the SH port of the time delay valve through the shuttle valve. The valve core moves to the right, and the pilot oil provided by the pilot pump enters the bottom of the brake piston to overcome the spring force and push the piston upward so as to separate the brake separator plate from the friction plate and realize the release of braking and the rotation of the motor. When the pilot joystick returns to the neutral position, so that the rotary valve rod of the main valve returns to the neutral position and the working main oil circuit of the swing motor is cut off. Due to the return of the main valve rotary rod, the pilot pressure at the SH port of the time delay valve disappears. When the brake release valve core returns, the pilot oil at PG port is cut off. At this moment, the brake piston will return under the action of the spring force. Due to the action of time delay valve core, the brake separator plate and the friction plate will be fully combined after around 5 seconds to realize the mechanical braking of the excavator rotation. When the pilot joystick returns to the neutral position and the high pressure oil at the motor inlet is cut off, the high pressure oil flow at the inlet will be subject to resistance. At this time, because the swing motor will continue to rotate under the inertia of the excavator, high pressure will be generated at the oil return port and the negative pressure will be formed at the oil inlet port. The compressed hydraulic oil at the return port acts on the plunger of the relief valve and increases the pressure at the top of the relief valve through the orifice on the plunger. When the pressure acting on the lower part of the plunger is equal to the sum of the upper part of the plunger and the spring force, the plunger will open and the hydraulic oil will overflow gradually. At this point, the overflow pressure is called P1. Because oil pressure acts on the upper part of the plunger at the same time, when the oil pressure is greater than the reaction force of the spring, the plunger will start to move downward. Due to the damping effect of upper part of the plunger, the plunger will slowly push the spring compression, so that the spring force and the oil pressure inside the relief valve increase at the same time so as to improve the overflow pressure. When the plunger reaches the step surface of the regulating plug, the pressure inside the relief valve will continue to increase because it cannot move downward. At this time, the overflow pressure is equal to the sum of the internal oil pressure and the spring force of the relief valve. The overflow pressure is called P2. When the swing motor relief valve overflows, the oil makeup check valve opens to supplement hydraulic oil for the motor oil inlet, so as to prevent cavitation. The swing motor realizes stable hydraulic braking in the above process. At the end of swing motor braking process, the motor will rotate in the opposite direction due to the oil pressure at the motor oil return port is greater than that 
at the Oil Inlet Port. In order to alleviate this phenomenon, an anti-rotation valve is installed on the swing motor. When the swing motor is stationary, the valve core of the anti-rotation valve is in the neutral position under the action of the spring force. When the excavator rotates, the high-pressure oil at the oil inlet B acts on the PB valve core on one side. The valve core moves and cuts off the bypass oil circuit, and the motor rotates. When the rotary valve rod of the main valve returns to the neutral position, the high-pressure oil at the oil return port A acts on the PA valve core and moves it to PB. But the valve core moves slowly due to the function of the orifice, so that a bypass oil circuit is formed between the oil inlet port and the oil return port. The high-pressure oil at the oil return port A flows to the oil inlet port B through the bypass oil circuit until the valve core cuts off the bypass oil circuit. When the oil pressure at the oil inlet and the return ports of the swing motor reaches a balanced state, the valve cores on both sides return under the action of the spring force. At the moment, when the excavator stops rotating, the oil pressure at the return port of the swing motor is greater than that at the oil inlet, and the high-pressure oil at the return port flows to the oil inlet according to the above process, so that the oil pressure between the oil inlet and the return port of the motor is in a balanced state, so as to prevent the reverse rotation of the swing motor.